hello everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel my name is mercy thank you for stopping by please if you haven't subscribed to this channel can you subscribe okay so today we'll be learning how to draft cut and sew this beautiful corporate gown it has um shoulder that on the left side and also a normal body that on the right side with a peplum stylish peplum if this is what you're interested in keep on watching okay so guys i'll be using this fabric for this i'll be making three years of this fabric and the name of the fabric is called obebi it's three years and it's um light you can see it but it's very beautiful i'll be making use of it and i'll be using this lining for it because my client wanted it to have a lining all right so i'll be using a pen for this pencil because i wouldn't want chalk to stain the fabric i'll start by folding my fabric into two using the lining to draft the down part of this dress and it's going to be the front i'll start by um subtracting 17 inches which is my half length from it and i'll mark a line that will be my starting point on the baseline i use my ruler to rule it out so guys on this um this side that i rule out is gonna be the waist line i am drafting the front down part you can see the way I place the 17 inches up there to get my hip measurement. That is 25, my hip line, or uh, the knee line, and the full length of this um dress. The full length is 43 plus 2 inches seam allowance. That is hemming allowance is gonna be 45, and I will mark 45 there. I will also mark my knee line. I'm sorry if you are not seeing the pencil clear. So this is my waistline, my hip line. Here is going to be the knee line. And that is what I am marking. You know, this is a pencil gown. So you're supposed to have your knee measurements. Take appropriate measurements. Here is the hip line, the knee line. the waist and the full length all right so guys i will start by putting down my measurement the waist divided by four plus two inches seam allowance i'll be using two inches seam allowance because i'll be making use of lining for this so i'll add two inches there on the hip line, I'll divide my hip by 4 and add 2 inches seam allowance. Coming to the knee line. Coming to the knee line, I will divide, um, I will subtract um, 6 inches on the hip measurement. Like, I'll subtract 6 inches on my hip measurements. Whatever that is remaining, I'll divide it by 4. Yes, I'll divide it by 4 and I'll add it on the knee line. Okay, that is what I did. I subtracted 6 inches from my hip measurement. Whatever that remains, I'll divide it, I divide it by 4 and I add it on the knee line. I'll also take it down to the hemming part. If you are using a fabric that is not um that you will not be adding um lining on it you can subtract um 8 inches or 7 inches from your hip measurement then you add whatever that is remaining on the knee line okay but because i'm using a lining that is why i subtracted only 6 inches after that i'll connect all the lines
I'll make use of my scissors and cut it out. After cutting it out, I'm going to use the front, place it on another lining to cut out the back. Okay? Make sure you notch your center line. Here is the front. I'll place it on another lining to cut out the back. I've placed it already and here this side is the zipper allowance. So I'm going to cut it out. Remember I'm using my lining to draft. So after cutting it, I'll be placing them on the main fabric and uh, to cut it out. You can see the way I am slashing the back skate open. I'm done and I'm going to place them on the main fabric to cut out. So guys, remember this fabric or oh baby is um uh, a little bit stretchy as you can see. So know the place that is stretchy, too stretchy and place it, fold it horizontally. As you can see me folding it, not on a vertical line, horizontally okay place the stretchy part on a horizontal line not the vertical line so i'm i'm done folding it as you can see i am placing the lining to cut out the um front first So I'll be cutting out the back too. So guys, I'm done cutting both the back and the front, the down parts. I'll proceed um this is the front and the back. I'll proceed on the upper side. Okay. So I'm still using my lining as my pattern paper and I'm folding this into two. I've already marked the line. This is for shoulder to bust, chest line, shoulder to bust shoulder to under boss and shoulder to the waistline that is the half length and the one inch for the joining of those on uh, the down parts and the upper area i'll connect my line from the shoulder to the chest line that is my armhole area I'll be making use of a um, neck width of um, 3.5 inches for this. The width is going to be 3.5 inches and the depth is going to be um, 4 inches for the front. 4 inches for the front and the back is going to be 1 inch for the depth. I'm trying to connect. I'll curve the neckline out and I'll mark my shoulder slope. I came down with one inch for the shoulder slope. So guys, um, on this area, I am going to be adding my nipple to nipple measurement, which is four. I will connect it from the chest line to the half length i'm marking down four
from the chest from the shoulder i'm going to get um 11 inches that is my boss is 10 i'll come down by one inch for it um and it's going to be 11 inches for my normal that on the down part i'm going to be deducting half half inch on the both sides that is one inch and connect it I'm just marking my dart line okay I'll put down my measurement my boss divided by four plus two inches seam allowance The under bus divided by four plus two inches seam allowance, and I'll be adding back the um little zero point seven that was deducted on that side. I will add it back. Now mark on the waistline. I'm going to do the same thing. I will add back the one inch I deducted as a dart to it. Then I'm going to connect all of the lines. On the armhole area, I'm going to divide whatever that is left. I will divide it by two and mark it. But I will go in with 0 0.7 inches. Then I use my ruler to carve out my armhole. I'll cut. I'll be using this front to cut out the back. They are almost the same thing. The, the only difference there is the zipper allowance and the neck um, depth. Not your that area so i've placed it on another lining to cut out you can see the the zipper allowance then i'll do my zip tightening on the down part if you have been following me for now you will know that i always do my zip tightening to avoid bogging on the zip I'm going to be adding my neck depth for the back, which is um one inch. I'll connect it with my free hand. That will be all, and I will cut.
you notch your dart area so i'm done with the back i'll be using it to cut the main fabric so coming back to the front this is the back and this is the front i will open my front into two it's unfold before and i open it up for us to get our shoulder that i will divide whatever that i have on this shoulder area by two i'll divide my shoulder by two i have um about um 2.3 inches there i'll use my ruler to connect it down to the um that area i'll connect it straight to the that area as you can see so this side is going to have um shoulder that and the other side we have a main normal that all right i'll be here is going to be the right and the other part is going to be the left make sure you label it so that you don't make a mistake i'll be slitting it into two i'll cut it open i'll cut out the dart legs now we have two pieces for the front the right and the left okay i'm going to place it um on on a fabric and cut out please while cutting out make sure you you have you add um half an inch on that that area on the shoulder that area please add half an inch on that side for your seam allowance but i'll be adding a, um um 0.72 like about one inch let me just call it one inch because that shoulder that area i am going to be inserting a zipper on it the reason for that is because um i'm making this dress for a nursing mom and she wanted a free area where she can um breastfeed her child that is why i'll be inserting a zipper on that shoulder that area it's gonna be stressful but Mm, I'll do it. But if you're making yours, just add half an inch on it. On that part. You can see the way I, I spread the fabric open to cut it. It's not on fold. I am cutting the front part one by one. And the next line of this dress is not the same as the one you see on the thumbnail because she doesn't want her neck to be that high neck. Make sure you notch your dart. I'm also cutting the remaining front. That is the left side. Remember to add half an inch seam allowance.
so here is the front with the lining remember if you're adding a lining make sure that the lining and the front are equal i'm going to be turning it up okay the one i used to draft is no longer of use for me i'll throw it away and they will be cutting the sleeve i folded my fabric into four to get my sleeve length 23 plus 2 inch for the hermine is going to be 25 i'll get my 25 So I folded it into 10 and divided by 3 is going to give me 5. I'll mark my 5 there. That's the easiest way to, to cut a sleeve. I'll cut them by 2 inches. The easiest way. There's so many ways. I'll cut them by 4.5 for the cap height. Then I'll connect as you can see. This is one of the simplest way to cut a sleeve. Her round sleeve is um um nine ten. Sorry, I'll be making use of five, adding um one inch same allowance for this, and her upper round sleeve is um eighteen um. 14 divided by 3 is going to be 7. I mark 7 there plus same as that once. Then I'm going to connect. So that will be all for the sleeve. Our sleeve is ready, notch the center area and the down part area as well. So we are done with the sleeve. Now we are going to be cutting out the peplum. Remember this peplum is only for the front, it is not on the back. So I'm going to be dividing the waist into two. You fold your fabric into two. This fabric is unfold right now. Divide your peplum, your waist by two. Like the waist, if the waist is 36, divide by two is going to be 18. But you're folding your fabric into two. 18 divided by two is going to give you nine. I'll be marking nine there plus um two inches same allowance. Then the length of the peplum is going to be um 10 i'm still getting my nine plus the two inches allowance i'll connect it total is going to be 11 i'll cut out the remaining one but the length of the peplum is going to be 10 inches by length So I will notch the center area. If you are using a paper for this, you press it very well like so, so that you know the center area. After that, I will open it up. You can see the center line there. Here is the right and here is the left. So, on the center area, trying to set my camera on this center area on the upper 
side you go in with 3.5 inches 3.5 and mark so on the down part on the center area you go in again with um let's say 1.7 inches remember that this peplum one is is shorter than the other one so i went in with zero uh, 1.7 inches and i will use my ruler to mark um a dart line let me just call it i mark a dart line of three inches okay you mark one and a half inches on the left and the one and a half inches on the right that is the down part i'm talking about then you place your ruler like so and connect it as if you're marking a dart you connect it in a slanty way all right you know that the the peplum has an an opening and one is longer than the other that is what we are trying to achieve so on this area the right side you go up with four inches to get to get the curvy side and the other left you go up with um 4.5 inches right is longer than the left and that is what you are going to achieve right now i'll still go up with one inch on the left that then i'll use my ruler to connect it it's going to be in a slanty pointy shape this is the right i'll connect the left the right is longer than the left i'm talking about the peplum yeah here comes our peplum and i'll cut it out with my scissors I'm trying to cross check. i'm done this is how the peplum looks like as you can see it here so i'll be using this to cut it out and i'll be using the fabric as the lining for this and i'll also add a hard um, gum stay on this i'll be iron a hard gum stay on this peplum to make it stand all right i'll use this to cut it out you can see that the peplum is shape the peplum shape is out already And the right is longer than the left. I am placing it on the fabric to cut out. I'll be using this fabric as the lining also. Remember I said I'm going to be using a, a hard stay on this. I'll iron it on the lining. I'm done cutting it out. You can see there are two. This is also two. So I will iron one. 
I'll use one and iron a hard stay on it. And I'm going to turn up um the the dress the upper area i will turn it up and turn the line and join it and come back and show you i'm sorry i did not film um this place this gather area but the length i cut out for this gather is 60 inches i i later added 18 inches to make the gather fuller remember the that side yes this side has a gather and you can see the zip i've also fix the zip and i use invisible zip for this you can see it there so i use a length of 60 inches plus 18 inches added to this gather and the wideness of this gather is three and a half unfold if you open it up it's going to be seven inches so it's unfold okay just cut as much as um you know that is going to be enough for you to gather and here is the back so this will be the end of this tutorial guys if you love what you see here just give it a thumbs up like okay and share if you have any question just drop it on the comment section thank you so much and bye